there is this sense of, from a lot of people, of not wanting to disrupt the status quo, wanting to keep things stable and peaceful, being willing to sacrifice dignity and self-worth just to be able to survive. And I think that we're advanced enough in our society and in our community now to know that we don't have to do that anymore. Climate change is really transforming the way our, our culture is allowed to continue and the way that um, you know, this community is allowed to survive. Um, right now, oil and gas is really big in this region, and it's also, you know, it's a high poverty region. And so I think that there's this sense that, you know, we have to kind of just cling to whatever industry is available. This community has been a high poverty community for decades. You know, we've had about a, a 30 or 40% poverty rate for a long time. And uh, even, you know, over the past decade, when we've been through several oil and gas booms and busts, that poverty rate stayed virtually the same. A lot of us down here who are Latinos, who are Tejanos, uh, we don't only identify ourselves by our relationship to Spain, but also by our relationship to our indigenous culture. And um, one, of the, one of the hard things about colonization and the way that our state is being run right now is that our history, our indigenous history has been erased. What we see is that uh, our lands are being spoiled and people's groundwater is being contaminated, our air is being polluted, and people are being negatively impacted. And we don't see the Railroad Commission doing what they said they would do to protect the public. I'm a descendant of some of the founders of the city of Laredo. So I'm a, a ninth generation Tejana. And so being a Tejana means that I'm a Latina born in Texas. Um, and it also carries with it this, um, this awareness of, of our ancestors having been here from before this was part of the United States, before it was Texas, before it was Mexico. I grew up on a fourth generation cattle ranch that I currently live on. Um, but it's not a cattle ranch anymore. And uh, one of the reasons why it's not a cattle ranch anymore is because in 2011, we experienced a historic drought. One of the things that I did with my time was I, I took a lot of walks on the ranch and I learned how to identify the native plants. And in that process, I read about all the different ways that these plants in our region were used. I think that in becoming more urbanized, but also in becoming more colonized and losing our indigenous knowledge, we are getting out of touch with the things that can sustain our life that are in our backyard. And I think we have lost an appreciation for the environment and for nature that is really core to preserving it. So the way that we see oil and gas development taking place in this region is um, really a lack of respect for the land and what it holds and what is special about it. And so there's the same manner of thinking from colonization and from the way that oil and gas development is taking place today, where there's a lack of respect both for people and for the place. And that is what we need to change. <laughs>